about the trouble Bridgeport had back on election night with a ballot shortage that led to a lot of voter outrage. A special commission has now been formed to find ways to make sure that does not happen again. News aides Ken Pierce on the scene in Bridgeport with the details of their recommendations that were just released this morning. Back in November, we spent a lot of time right here at the Registrar of Voters here in Bridgeport as they dealt with the effects of running out of ballots, photocopying ballots, changing poll hours. Back then, Bridgeport's mayor said he'd get to the bottom of it with a special panel. Today, we get to hear what they found. Planning, evaluation, an ability to find out if people train properly, long hours. Those problems all contributed to the big mess at some Bridgeport polling places on election day, but it all started with the Bridgeport registrars not ordering enough ballots. They photocopied more, but not before some would-be voters gave up and went home. They kept the polls open late and spent three days arguing and recounting ballots before they came up with a final tally. Bridgeport Mayor Bill Finch appointed a special mayor's election advisory panel to investigate. The lawyers, community leaders, and a former mayor came up with 67 recommendations. We believe that there should be set up for each election a central command center that will monitor the election and will have uh, all the problems answered and have the equipment and the technology there to answer it. As well as have better communication and, of course, make sure they have enough ballots. But the panel stressed that was not the only thing that needed correcting. So did Secretary of the State Denise Merrill, who recently proposed legislation to make sure that an election day debacle like this never happens again anywhere. The tragedy of it was not so much the kinds of structural things we're talking about. The tragedy was that people were turned away from the polls. That's the bottom line. Secretary Merrill's proposed legislation would force all registrars to tell the state how many ballots they ordered before the election and come up with a plan about what to do if they ever did run out of ballots. On the scene in Bridgeport, I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.